we are asked to simplify the given rational expressions. To simplify a rational expression, we factor the numerator and denominator, and then simplify out any common factors. Looking at the first expression, notice how we have 7x plus 6 in the numerator. The first step in factoring is always to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between 7x and 63 is 7, and therefore we factor 7 from the numerator. We factor 7 from 7x plus 63, we are left with x plus 9. Of course, we can check this by distributing. We still have 7x plus 63. And now let's factor the denominator. Notice how the greatest common factor among all three terms is 1, and therefore, if this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x, we have an x in the first position of both binomials. The second terms of the binomial factors will be the factors of negative 54 that add to positive 3. Well, negative 6 times positive 9 is equal to negative 54, and so is negative 9 times positive 6. Let's check the sum of these factors. Well, negative 6 plus 9 is equal to positive 3, which means the two factors we need are negative 6 and positive 9, and therefore we can stop. And because the factors are negative 6 and positive 9, one binomial factor is x minus 6, the other binomial factor is x plus 9. And now before we simplify, we should make a note of the excluded values, which in this case are the values of x that make the denominator equal to 0. The denominator cannot equal 0 because division by 0 is undefined. Well, notice x minus 6 is equal to 0 if x equals 6, and therefore x can't equal 6. And x plus 9 is equal to 0 when x equals negative 9, and therefore x also can't equal negative 9. These are called the excluded values because if x takes on these values, the original expression is undefined because we have division by 0. And now to simplify the expression, the quantity x plus 9 divided by the quantity x plus 9 simplifies to 1, and therefore the given expression simplifies to 7 divided by the quantity x minus 6. Let's look at the second expression. Again, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 2x squared minus 8 is 2. We begin by factoring 2 from the numerator. We factor 2 from 2x squared minus 8. We're left with x squared minus 4. And again, we can check this by distributing. We still have 2x squared minus 8. We should recognize we can factor this further, though, because now we have a difference of squares. But let's look at the denominator first. Again, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor among all three terms is 2, so let's factor 2 from the denominator. If we factor 2 from the denominator, we're left with the quantity x squared minus x minus 6. And again, we can check this by distributing. We still have 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. Now let's factor both the numerator and denominator further. In the numerator, we have 2 times the quantity x squared minus 4, which will factor into two binomial factors because we have a difference of squares. Because the first term is x squared, we have a factor of x in the first positions of both binomials. And because 2 squared is equal to 4, one binomial factor is x plus 2, the other binomial factor is x minus 2. Now looking at the denominator, we still have a factor of 2. And then if the trinomial factors, it will factor into two binomial factors. Again, because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x, we have an x in the first position of both binomials. The second terms of the binomial factors are the factors of negative 6 that add to negative 1. Let's list some of the factors of negative 6. We have negative 2 times positive 3, which is negative 6, as well as negative 3 times positive 2, which is equal to negative 6. And now let's sum the factors. Negative 2 plus 3 is equal to positive 1, not negative 1. But negative 3 plus positive 2 is negative 1. And therefore, we need the factors of negative 3 and positive 2, which means one binomial factor is x minus 3. The other binomial factor is x plus 2. Again, before simplifying, let's list the excluded values. Again, the excluded values are the values of x that make the denominator equal to 0 x minus 3 is equal to 0 when x equals 3, and therefore x can't equal 3. Otherwise, we would have division by 0, which is undefined. 
x plus 2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 2, we must also exclude negative 2. Now that we've listed the excluded values, let's simplify the irrational expression. The quantity x plus 2 divided by the quantity x plus 2 simplifies to 1, and 2 divided by 2 also simplifies to 1. The remaining factors give us the simplified rational expression. The rational expression simplifies to the quantity x minus 2 divided by the quantity x minus 3. I hope you found this helpful.